All right, here we go. So let's do some toxicity. Here's the peak toxicity when it comes to me being a Power Ranger fan. The good news is that unlike many others who bash the freaking writers and stuff, like I, it's like I don't bash the writers. Yeah, it's like more than importantly, I bash the fans. And that's what we're at here. <laughs> this is where we're here. I think I said this once, but here it is in clear blank, point blank range, just in case. So for people who don't know, I was definitely a kid and I was around when Power Rangers was happening. And well, I didn't learn till later what happened, but personally, I think this is some bullshit. But anyways, for those who don't know, let me just paint the picture. Besides of the issue of, you know, Tommy is going to leave and they don't know if Tommy is going to come back. But a.k.a. Jason David Frank has a new TV show he's going to go to. Too bad the kids never heard about that. And the show got canceled and transformed into VR Troopers. That I'm OK with. I'm fine with that. I mean, I wasn't the one who was complaining or crying or anything. I was just watching the story and seeing how it unfolds, you know. And that's how it really should be when it comes to like shows. You should be just like the people of Star Trek. We come here just to observe. We don't supposed to be touching or doing anything in the freaking planet. That's what you should be doing. Watching the show and don't complain about Jack crap. Just allow them to actually do the story. But then this is where it got really horrible. So... Season two of Power Rangers happened and Lord Zed comes along. Weirdly enough, throughout the second season, you have parents writing in saying how their kids nightmares, that Lord Zed is so scary, and et cetera, et cetera, to the point of where they had to bring Rita Repulsa back and even made him marry her. And he's a little bit more silly than previously. Here's what I think, even though someday maybe we'll get real answers, but here's just my observation. What I personally think that season two would have ended, well, maybe even season three would have ended with Lord Zed coming down for the final battle and we're seeing a six on one fight against Lord Zed. Tell me who didn't want to see that. Tell me who didn't want to see that. And instead of you guys actually waiting until he gets truly defeated and finally the nightmare is over, you did this crap. You complained to your parents. I'm sorry, but this is some bullshit. It's like, yeah, I'm sorry, but you guys suck ass. I'm the same age as you. I didn't have a nightmare. You know what I actually would do if Lord Zed walked to me? I was a feisty kid. I was most likely four to five years old. You know what happens if Lord Zed actually came to me? I would have tried my hardest to just punch his kneecap and punch his leg. I'm that freaking brave. Here's you guys most likely would cower and scream and cry and bullshit. It's like, no. Me, I'm not like that. No. It was eventually the power. It's like, I'll get slapped around. But you know what will happen? Even though I get slapped around, I will get back up and still fight. Until the Power Rangers actually come and be like, man, kid, you are brave, but leave this to us. Yeah, but before that, it's like, yeah, just like the whole, <laughs> I am the rhino. And then you have this kid who actually is like, yeah, but at least I would be more competent. Actually, no, I wouldn't be that stupid, though. He has a freaking damn metal mech. How the fuck am I going to do anything? Lord Zed, yes, he could blast me a crap, but at least I'm able to actually touch and punch him more punching and retaliating but it's like it kind of sucks that yeah it's like these days it's like yeah this sucks and i'm like i wish boom comics learned about this and i would love it if boom comics actually would do a nice adaptation of all the thoughts and stuff that they were thinking about doing for season two or at least season three and most likely ending lord zed for all we know, Mr. Master Vile wouldn't have been the father of Rita Repulsa. Instead, it would be like some kind of other thing to happen, or he would have took Lord Zed's place when he got the downfall. 
But I think since it was season three that did that, I have no idea for sure what they were planning. But I'm pretty sure like at the end of it all, Lord Zed would have been destroyed. It's like Lord Zed would have been destroyed and then Machine Empire would have moved right in. But instead, you guys had to cry and have nightmares. It's like I'm I was the same age as you. How the freak am I brave? And yet you're not. <laughs> it's like that's the messed up thing where I was like, yeah, how in the world are you not brave enough to freaking do it? You were watching Power Rangers. There were so damn so many monsters. Then all of a sudden, here's this monster. It's like, yeah, I met my match when it came to Ivan Ooze, but it wasn't a I wasn't scared of him. I was just intimidated. <laughs> that was the thing is that I was intimidated by him, not scared, intimidated. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention it's like how the fuck I was supposed to fight him. I mean, anything I could use. And it's like, I didn't want to touch him at all. I wouldn't freaking try to punch him or anything. Oh, what the fuck? Ugh, ugh. It's like, I must like go get a freaking bar or something. Or a bat or a wooden stick or something. But the sad part is that the wooden stick would go through him. So how am I supposed to fight him? <laughs> I wouldn't run, but I know for a fact it's like I don't know what to do besides maybe talk him. Yeah, that's about it. It's just make him talk and insult him and try to actually get him to the point of where I'm just buying time until the Rangers come. <laughs> that's it. That's all I can do is buy time because in this case, it's like it's worse. I can't even touch him. And I don't like gross things, okay? And he's freaking gross. Oh no, ew, ugh, gross, no. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, I'm not scared of him. It's just that I met my match at the fact if I couldn't actually hit him. Instead, I have to think of something else. But of course, considering I was still a kid, I don't know. I didn't have nightmares of him though. But I can tell you one thing is that I was most likely screwed. I would definitely be screwed at that point. It's like, oh my gosh, I'll be freaking screwed. But pretty sure he's not actually after the kids. He was after adults. So, and given his, yeah, his creation, his monstrosity to destroy the freaking um, rail system. He didn't know that the kids were there. It's like he, so he just freaking got in his way and stepped on it. So it's like, at the end, if you think about it, Ivan Ooze didn't actually do anything to the children at all. All he did is just do something to the adults. Brainwashed the adults, made them work hard labor, then sent them to kill themselves. That's it. He didn't do anything with the teenagers, didn't do anything with the kids. So it's like, well, I'm technically I'm in the clear, but yeah, that's still it's still bad though. It's still freaking bad. It's horrible. But yeah, that's my freaking toxicity is the fact of where I'm like, y'all kids should have just kept your damn mouth shut. <laughs> and no, I'm talking about kids who are my age, not the kids today. I mean, they're not really saying crap. There's nothing they really can say about the whole, oh my gosh, I'm intimidated. I'm scared. It's like, no, we, we don't have any of that problem. Those problems most likely aren't going to resurface at all. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's never going to resurface at all. So it just sucks that the kids my day and the kids that are my ages were actually, well, my age actually was scared of him and made them change what they were going to do for season three. Because again, I would have preferred having the awesome final battle where it was six on one and who knows, maybe they would actually have like a news news anchor and they filming it live in front of everyone of this. It's like, I don't know what would have been different, but it would have been something different. I don't know. Maybe Lord Zed got taken out. Shoot, I don't know. It's like, it's hard to figure out what would have happened. They just went with the flow at some point. But it's like, I would have liked to have had Lord Zed get taken out and Trying to remember when, where was Lord Zed? Where was Lord Zed at in this, all, all of it? I think he was on Earth, though. Well, no, I think he was when Aquatar. It's like, damn, I don't really remember. It was like, he was either on Aquatar or he was on Earth. I think he might have been on Earth. And he, I think they were fighting the Blue Centaurian and the Gold Ranger. 
So it's like, yeah, the final battle of that one is okay. It was, it was, it was awesome. It was definitely was awesome, but I still kind of would like to have the one where they did take out freaking Lord Zed. <laughs> and plus it's like, do you really need Lord Zed? Do you really need Lord Zed? I don't think you need Lord Zed. And most likely you will have maybe Rito and Goldar releasing Rita. And now season three is Rita coming back. There you go. Or I don't know. It's hard to figure out things. Yeah, because they finished season two and they got the letters and it's like, then the marriage happened, right? No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, season two, I think. Oh, so yeah. So season two would have actually ended with Lord Zed getting taken out. And then season three would have been maybe Rita returning. Maybe. So it's like, it's kind of like, I wish you guys did metal in. And there's many people who enjoy and love the fact that he got married and crap. For me, I'm like, this is some stupid damn shit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is the most stupidest and what the fuck thing I've ever seen. Not to mention, I don't even think I saw the whole entire three-parter season. Three-parter moment of the wedding. I think I only taped like the third part, question mark. Or at least that's the only thing I have left. And I'm like... <clears throat> the end of season like the I think like a bit of season two all the way to like close to the season three I didn't see mostly everything that's the sad part it's like yeah I didn't see like mostly everything so I would say it would be actually have been fun to see how that would have it's like I would have loved to see how that would have been the final stand and then Rita returns in season three or maybe Master Vile takes the place of all of them. It's like, oh, well, Master Vile's not an evil person who's going to try to take over the world. But I was like, yeah, maybe he has a different name or he's still Master Vile. I don't freaking know. All I could tell you is that because of people who are freaking scared and couldn't just freaking shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, shut the fuck up. And let the freaking story finish. It would actually have ended with, with something that was freaking awesome. Was a six on one fight against Lord Zed. Who did not want to see that? It's like, raise your hand if you didn't want to see that. Yeah, and it's kind of funny where I'm like, I really hope that the ones who did actually have nightmares and your cause this crap. I hope you actually feel the freaking sadness of, yeah, um, you did that crap. And you stole the freaking awesome fight that could have happened at the end of season two. You did this. Feel bad about it. Feel very bad about it. Especially the fact that the freaking wedding happened. And also the damn son. It's like, yeah, that was you too. It's like, you made this effect. And freaking Thrax exists because of your ass. Being scared of freaking Lord Zed instead of facing your fear. <laughs> 